glory revealed and God is about to unfold a set, certain dimension of his glory concerning your life. The glory of God is about to invade every space of your life and cause every darkness to be dispelled in the name of Jesus. Two days ago we started looking at the word of God from the book of Matthew chapter number 5. And then we started reading from verse number 13, and we went to verse 14. Yesterday we dwelt more on verse number 13, looking at the fact that Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. And then we dwelt on the fact that once the salt, once the salt has lost its saltiness, it is no longer useful, and it will take a divine intervention for that life to become useful and impactful. And we discover that what really would happen is this. The Lord Jesus doesn't work or make use of that old life. He expects you to surrender the old life and then he gives you a completely new life. And that's taken from the scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse 17. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. You submit your old sinful life, he makes you a new man in Christ. He says you become a new creation. So the Lord recreates because the old nature is not useful for the new life in Christ. And this is what happens. And then in verse number 14, the word of God goes on to say, look at what it says, hallelujah. I mean, Matthew chapter number 5, verse 14, look at what it says. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Now, dwell on that. He says, you are. Jesus didn't kind of like say, oh, you will be. No, he said, you are. Beloved, he was talking to his disciples and then he said to them, you are. Why did he say to them, you are the light of the world? Now, think about this. There are several other persons upon the face of the earth. But he was speaking to these people and said, you are the light of the world. Now there's a great difference between darkness and light. 
Darkness is the absence of light. And light dispels darkness. Once light comes, darkness leaves. And now just think about that. When, when people with righteous, holy light comes, suddenly unholiness is dispelled, it's revealed. It is only when, dark, when light is absent that darkness seems to reign. But immediately light comes, there's a sharp reaction. Darkness is dispelled. And that is when the evil deeds of darkness are revealed. And that's the reason why you must realize this. You are the light of the world. Now, he was talking to them. Now, how do how, how is it possible that these persons are the light of the world? Now, the Lord dropped something in my heart. The scripture says, The entrance of the world give it light and understanding to sit to the simple. So, this is the first thing that happens. As long as they were listening to Jesus, the words he spoke to them became divine light on the, on the inside. And because they have received his word, the word which they have received became light on the inside, made them have the capacity, the ability to dispel darkness. In other words, until you have the word of God on the inside, you don't have the ability, the capability to be able to dispel darkness. If you want to walk in the exceptional glory in the year 2018, then you will need to have the word of God. Jesus said, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. As you have the word of God comes on your inside. There comes a supernatural transformation. And that word that comes in equips you to succeed in life. And, you know, the word of God in Romans says, put it this way. Faith commit by hearing and hearing the word of God. So your faith, your ability to, to be exceptional, to do what others cannot do, comes by hearing the word of God. And as they listen to Jesus, the word of God, which entrance became light on the inside of them, for he said the entrance of the word, the scripture says the entrance of the word given light and understanding. Now, because they have received so much of the word from he who is the light of the world, Jesus, right? They themselves became light. To turn from darkness and to dispel darkness, you need to spend time with him who is the light of the world. And if you did that, then you become the light of the world. The Lord wants you to live a glorious life. There are so much darkness in so many hearts, so many lives. There are some people, once they show up, darkness literally shows up. But there are others, once they show up, they light up the room, they light up the place. Darkness is dispelled. So who are you? Which of them are you? Light or darkness? Once you have the Lord on the inside, you have light. But if you don't, you have darkness. You have the choice. I mean the right to make the choice. So why don't you make the right choice today? So you can have the exceptional glory of God made manifest through your life. Choose today and just ask that He will become the light of your life. And when He becomes the light of your life, you become the light of the world. That is where understanding is possible. That is when excellence is possible. That is when being extraordinary is possible. You, be, you are able to distinguish yourself because of the light that resides in you. So why don't you ask that the Lord will give you a to become a more here and ask. Say, Lord Jesus, I reject darkness. I reject sin. I reject everything that is not of you. And I receive you today. I receive your word. I receive divine light to be a light to my generation. I proclaim that I am light and that through my life, your glory will be revealed to my generation. I give myself to you and proclaim you Lord of my life. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I believe once, I believe because you prayed that prayer, your life is never the same again. I decree it is well with your body, it is well with your soul, and it is well with your spirit. And I come your way again tomorrow. This is Ego Lewis. Keep living in the glory realm.